Hi everyone, Chef from Outdoors in the Low Countries. And in this video we're going to have a look at the leakage of a hydraulic quick connect from the front loader. Now I saw already quite some time that I need to fill up the oil of the hydraulic fluid a lot of times, so it was already sure that somehow there was a leakage. And looking at it a little bit more better and having a better inspection, it was clear that it was the quick disconnect from the front end loader that was the cause of the leakage. So let's have a look together into the leakage and let's see if we can solve this problem. And you can really see that the blue one is the one who is leaking on top of the other ones. And it's quite a significant leak, as you can see. So I'm now going to disconnect the blue coupling. There it is. So I'm very sure it's the female coupling, because without the coupling on it, the male coupling doesn't leak. So I'm very sure this is the one that's causing the trouble. And inside the female coupling, there's an O-ring and a white ring, and they together ensure the leak tightness of the hydraulic coupling. So the first step we will now do is to replace the O-ring and the white ring, and see if then the oil leakage is gone. So for taking out the o-ring you need to have some type of tool in order to pick out the o-ring and for that I will use this tool which has a 90 degree angle with a sharp point and there I can pick out the o-ring. So let's see if we can take it out. So here I have the o-ring. Now we also need to take out the white ring as well. And here we also have the white ring. And here you can see how the O-ring has been damaged and why it is not leak tight anymore. And here we have the replacement rings. And to be honest, the replacement ring looks a little bit thicker than the one that I just took out. So I hope it works. Only one way to find out, and that's just by trying it. You'll see. And of course you need to put it in without scratching it, because then uh, it will again leak. So let's try that. So let's first put in the white ring. Yeah, to be honest, this doesn't seem to work. I don't get the white ring in the right place. So indeed, I think that these are too thick to put it in. So this is the ring that came out and this is the replacement ring. And as you can see, the replacement ring is much thicker and it simply doesn't fit. I tried to put it in, it doesn't fit. The same with the O-ring. This is the original O-ring and this is the replacement, which is also much thicker. So also there, it simply doesn't fit. Now I was already a little bit afraid that the o-ring wouldn't fit because it was very hard to find the right dimensions of it. I also bought a new coupling. So what I will now do is to take off the old coupling, replace it by the new one and this way also make sure that it doesn't leak anymore. So first step is now to take off the old coupling. There we go. So let's clean the thread. I have to hold it up a little in order to uh, prevent the oil from leaking out. Now I don't have any Loctite, so I will use Teflon tape instead. I know it ain't perfect for hydraulic. Connections, but 
is the only thing I've got at this moment. Now let's put on the new coupling. There we go. So the new coupling has now been mounted. Let's put it back, make the quick connect coupling again. Also the red one back, there it is. So let's start the engine now, use the hydraulics and see if it's now leak tight. Well, clearly the high amount of leakage, as we saw before, is now gone. It looks as if it is leak tight now. So the leak is gone. I used Teflon tape. I know I should have used Loctite. I will order Loctite because I don't simply don't have it. So I'm very happy that the leakage has been solved, so I can use the front loader again for doing the landscaping and maintenance here in the Low Countries because there's quite some work to do. You will see also in videos that will follow. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.